I've got some more good news. Um, these uh, LED um, lamps were on sale at the 99 cent store a month or so ago, and we got a whole bunch of them. They were a buck a piece. And uh, I took one apart, and this is uh, what we're looking for here. This is, uh, let me turn this off here. It's too bright. What it is, it's just kind of like Dr. Stifler's um, Cree board. It's just aluminum on the back. There's no board. The board is inside the bulb down in there, potted with black goo. But I was able to get it all apart. It's a plastic. The whole thing's plastic. The lens and this part here is plastic. And then uh, it was on this uh, aluminum plate here as a heat sink. And uh, uh, I've got the uh, output of the Slayer Exciter tagged into the back of this plate, like what the Dr. Stifler was doing. And then the AV plug is just attached to the uh, plus-minus leads of the board. And this this is um, 65 watts, and it consumes 11 watts normally. And the, it's it's a 65 watt equivalent bulb is what they're calling this. And um, yeah, there it is right there, 65 watt equivalent uses 11 watts and this is on this Slayer Exciter Let's see if I can get this plugged in again here there we go and this is with the uh, the brightness without it touching anything the AV plug is not uh, touching anything it's just hanging out in space and the input from the Slayer Exciter is going into the back of this but look what happens when I put the ground or the antenna or whatever on the AV plug That is blindingly white. If I use this heat sink here and use the heat sink, same thing happens. I get it, the brilliant white light. Now the camera's dimming this down to compensate, but that is uh, very, very bright. And um, anyway, this, this little board here that I came across out of this, uh, it's called an op to light LED lamp that's what it looks like and maybe you can find them online and uh, it says it's dimmable and the guts the circuit board is bedded in there but you can get it apart without destroying anything really and then you've got this um, brilliant brilliant light now if I take this and I put this over here just set it in there. This thing goes nuts. And this would be a pretty neat little light, except for the fact it's drawing 12, volt, 12 volts at about 200, 300 milliamps. It's a lot of draw on this particular Slayer Exciter. But that board is uh, really cool. And um, it does what we've been looking for, where you can feed it from the back plate and let the AV plug just hang out there in space and get it to light up and then I'm sure you could do other things uh, if you had the tunable Slayer Exciter you could probably tune this to a frequency that would would uh, do the the brilliance better depending on the frequency you hit this with but uh, this is kind of a verification of what Dr. Stifler was showing where you can come into the back of these LEDs and, and leave the AV plug hanging in midair and get this thing to go off. Anyway, it's just uh, something I wanted to share. Thanks for watching.